A very, very big welcome to you, Leo. Now the moon moved yesterday into your sign. Yesterday I did the German reading. And I got a very big message coming actually for uh, the collective, right? For all the people. And I am interested if the same message is going to come now also through the English reading because today is a different day and maybe the cards um, are different. Maybe again, some cards are the same that come out, right? But uh, yesterday I really was uh, really amazed, I have to say. I mean, it was really like one of those moments where I realized I have my doubts as well, right? Sometimes people discuss with me um, well, how can this be something that you can trust? I mean, it's cards, however they fall out and all these kind of things, right? And it's very interesting uh, because I once did this shamanic uh, experience. Uh, Indian shaman it was in New York, upstate New York. We had a house there where we had teacher trainings and we had this uh, shaman coming and it's very interesting because back then I didn't really know much yet about all these uh, uh, shamanic practices, right? They started just to come to me. And what happened was that when we did the ceremony and of course we were eating peyote, I challenged him, right? In my way, I didn't know that I was doing it, but I challenged him. And after he was talking with me and he said, thank you for challenging me. Thank you for allowing me to doubt this practice for a short moment so that I could come back much stronger, so that I could rediscover it on a whole new plane, on a whole new level. And I never forget, right, how he was not schooling me, saying, well, you should be more acting like this and et cetera, et cetera. How we like to actually tell people like, but you should behave like this and da, da 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 No, he really was able to see his own falling into the question that I had, right? And doubt and rediscover that, no, I'm not going to go into this energy that this woman is bringing on to me. I am holding my energy and my energy is this path. And he wasn't forcing, he wasn't pushing. And it was a very beautiful experience, right? And I feel that this is the same here. Um... The same is happening to me. I had yesterday, and then I don't know why I'm telling you this, but for some reason, right, whatever I'm telling is is important, right? I want to do these readings very intuitive, and I want to share sometimes things, and I will get back to the story, right? Um, but I want you also at the same time see that this month, the sun, the ego, the exterior is now in the guardian angel, is in... Sagittarius. And after the death card, after the transformation, right, we have this beautiful angel coming to us and helping us to realize that, yes, this teaching is real, right? Why would these people, right, some of them scholars, some of them professors, some of them really studied people, draw an angel, so to come back to the story, I yesterday had this incredible message coming through the German Leo reading. And then in the evening, I had a dinner with my sister's friends. And I was questioned. And I was very much questioned that what I'm doing... Does this even serve anything? And how can you make everything dependent on planets and etc. etc. Astrology and tarot and all of this new age. 
um, stuff, right? It was it was not ridiculed, but it was definitely pushed in me a button, and I realized that I have to thank her, particularly the woman that was pushing me. Interesting enough, she was an Aquarius. And I s told him about the 21st of December, where we have the darkest night. We have here the ending of the guardian angel. We have come in the longest night ever. And it started already here, right in November. These are the three fall month, right? Um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, right? And of course, here on the 21st, winter starts. So actually, we started before that already. We started already in Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. We started the fall season. And here on the 21st, nevertheless, until the 21st, right, it is fall. So here on the 21st starts winter. And here on the 21st, this year, we have for the first time Jupiter, this is the biggest planet we have in our solar system, and Saturn coming so close together that they, after 800 years, form the Christmas star. And these two planets... These opposite energy planets, right? Jupiter is more uh, luck, abundance, miracles, um, spirituality, philosophy. And Saturn is more structure, um, time, uh, space, right? Uh, but also the, 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 the conforming, um, the social order, all the things that we like structure, we need to kind of like, yeah, I see this, I feel this, so it exists. Everything else, it's just like luck. and uh. They were 20 years in Capricorn and they move on the 21st of December into Aquarius. So I was challenged by an Aquarian and I have to thank this Aquarian person for challenging me and actually bringing a deeper, more empowered, no, I'm not going to go this path. It's not my path. Her path is different. I'm going my path and my path is I trust this white pole tent, right? Samek in the Hebrew language means a tent pole. And on this tent pole, I can build a tent. And in that, I can rise to my own angel, uh, to my own liberation, to my own understanding of water and fire. Because the two cups now as the transitioning from Gemini, where we had the male and the female, active fire, active water, creating uh, the next generation, which is the angel above. No, there's no more humans. There's just two cups, and that's also the two of cups. And here, the two of cups, we can see she creates an alchemical, active um, mixture of energies, right? And... So much in the sun, in our ego, in our extroverted, in our outer, um, outgoing energy is happening. So that's the story, right? So I was yesterday challenged and I accept the challenge and I say thank you. So I ordered a coaching lesson with her. Because I want to learn, right? I want to learn from people who don't have a connection to this. Nevertheless, I don't say, okay, I don't want to have anything to do with her. I actually invite her and I want to learn from her, right? And that's 
the strength card to me building a strength no matter what is happening in your life no matter how much people are questioning your beliefs your way of living right your truth your white spirit connection this infinite connection again white dress right and remember here the triangle as you can see here, they were building a hexagram, right? And in the hexagram, we have, again, the two cups in there, right? That's why I put the hexagram in there as well. This is the two cups here, the two cups that she is creating uh, crazy things, right? <clears throat> and here we have only one triangle pointing upwards. Now, when you look here, you see that there are lines above the triangle. And interesting enough, most people would think these are just the lines of the dress. But I learned um, that this is the name of God in Hebrew, right? Here it says Yahweh above the triangle. And I was able to learn that because I was in Israel and someone pointed it out at me. I didn't know. I would have never guessed, you see? And so everything has a meaning. Everything has this, no matter how difficult it is, right? Sometimes it's easy and we like embrace it so easy. And sometimes when it's difficult, we give up. No, we don't give up. We embrace the other part. We not tame the other one, but we are creating an infinite loop between the other one. And so I decided to do a coaching session with this woman. That means I embrace this other side. For me, it's wild. How can you not think that these planets are having an influence on us? I ask her, what about the moon? Well, that's magnetic and etc. Right? So science was giving me explanations because it's science, right? Aquarius is very much into science and we are facing now science the star, the light, right? And so you are here and I drew the um, lion pose, sticking the tongue out, connecting to the breath, right? And you can see the red and the white roses. There is a school all already in the Hierophant. We see the red and the white school of teaching, right? Bhakti or more Rajas, right? She has here the four elements on her chest with the flower, the white flower, right? I drew that here also into the chest of the pose. Four, five petals because you're the fifth zodiac sign, but you're the card number eight. That's why you also got the infinite number of the eight. In some, in Alistair Crowley, he switched, right? The justice is here and the Leo is and for some reason, it doesn't feel to me like uh, what he says. I mean, each person has to figure that for themselves out, right? Like, don't you take what these people gave you, but now I'm starting to create my own cards and they're far from finished, right? I want to right now just play with them and see what else is coming out, right? And it's, it's work. It's, I haven't even started with the court cards and the court cards here when you're born between the 13th of July to the 12th of August, you are the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands, because it's a Hebrew perspective, looks into the future. For us, it looks like he looks into the past. That as well, right? The Hebrew tradition from right to left and we from left to right. And I believe that these cards are very clearly showing us from the Hebrew tradition that they are actually looking into the past or into the future, depending what tradition, right? So for the Hebrew, he looks into the past and I guess I would have to draw it in a different way. I need to get myself a Hebrew tarot deck, an original one, which I will do when I go back to Israel. Anyway. So you are connected with the salamander and with the uh, lion, with the Leo. 
right? Because you are fire. You are having um, a, a clear element of heat and days like that are more hot, more warm, right? Even in winter. And you definitely, uh, we like to eat uh, protein on those days when we have uh, a fire sign. Interesting enough, we need to cook protein for it to be more digestible. You have the fruit. I don't have a fruit. Actually, I do. <laughs> I do have an apple here. Um, right? You are the fruit um, as that plant part, right? And then your region is the heart, is the cardiovascular, very good for you to sweat, very good for you to go out and use your strength, not just in like muscle, uh, building muscles, but also in creating uh, with the muscles heat. Your sense organs are the senses. Okay, so I started to do this a little bit different and Already one card comes out, and this card was yesterday in the reading as well, but more later on. The second card so the twins, Gemini, is coming clearly to you, the lovers. And there is a back and forth with the lovers. The lovers, it's always about how much do I love myself, truly love myself, right? One day I'm here and another day I'm here. I'm back and forth. And the two of um, pentacles is Jupiter in Capricorn. And what did I say? On the 21st of December, Jupiter in Capricorn is moving into Aquarius. So the message is already coming through. Jupiter in Capricorn is moving away into more loving way of being with other people into a more loving connection to the rest of the world. There will be more love. There will be more consciousness. And there is a Taurus coming, King of Pentacles. Look in the description box below. Meaning there will be a big shift happening on this Jupiter, 21st of December. And we will be able to have more of a clear self-love. Particularly you will be able to sit down with another Taurus and look at this world and say, we did it. Okay. So... You know a Gemini, right? And you know a Taurus. All the energy of these cards are coming through to you to create so much self-worth that you are reaping the results and getting financial new perspective. There's already three cards out of coins, of material wealth, of new, yeah, here we can see this is the one coin of God. He holds it dearly in his lap, sits here with his dog, and here we feel he's attending. You are attending the earth. You are attending the the sensitivity of how we make money, right? I always say, I vote with my money. First of all, my time, my energy, my knowledge is being compensated, right? Back then we compensated it with 
goat cheese. I have goat cheese and I give you potatoes. So that's how they pay. Now, we cannot do that anymore. We cannot take goats with us in an airplane and say, well, I'm going to pay you with my goats. <laughs> we have money. And the money started by uh, we had gold and we had possessions that were heavy to, to travel with. Wow. And so they gave uh, a person who was having a vault and he gave him a paper saying, well, I'm looking after your money and here's the paper. So eventually they were like, well, let's make it immediately a paper. Let's make the paper value. All the other cards came single out and look what came that came as well yesterday in the reading. So the reading is already telling me there is approximately the same message because already Jupiter in Capricorn is shifting, is changing, is actually coming into a more self-loving because um, Gemini is all about communication, being more tolerant, being more, you know, and it's the opposite of temperance, right? So it's this self-love that's coming to you. Right, so this is your central card. And then there's a Sagittarius looking right, right at you. Sagittarius, this month. In this month, something is definitely very clearly shifting and happening. Look again at the description box for the date of this, your dates you know, and the dates of this, right? This is the typical month of Gemini. There is nothing, right? The year gets divided through 12 and we have those dates. With the court cards, the year gets divided through 16 court cards, not the pages. They're not included there. And again, the financial situation, very interesting, is saying, yes, give and take, take and give. Give and take, take and give give right so these three come together all right wow 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 okay that's it that's it <laughs> that's it uh. right so you can see why i want to start doing the reading different because you can feel how they come out. Sometimes they literally like, okay, this is this is the message. Okay, so five cards came out. So I have three, four, five. Right, so there's a progression. There is three, there is four, and there are five cards. I could also do all the single cards together in the first row. And then I have the three cards that came together in the central row. And then again, I have five cards. So I'm going to do it like this, right? It doesn't always have to be three, three, three. I want to go intuitive, right? So, okay. I'm going to show you the first two. This is five of swords. And five of swords is Venus in Aquarius, right? So Venus, the relationship is moving into the age of Aquarius and sometimes that is difficult for people to comprehend. And now because we starting to work more on a collaboration, if we want to achieve something to counterbalance these big, big companies, that are controlling us, we need to come together, even though we're all individuals, but we need to come together. And sometimes that's difficult. It's not easy. But as you can see here, four that fly and there's only one that sits on his shoulder and is nagging in his head. It's almost like he's just like, knock, 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 wake up. You cannot be like, I have to win. I am the one. I, I am the, the owner of this business. No start to collaborate, start to come together, right? So you have two, you have one, you have six, and you have three of coins. Very interesting. 
then I will, will do these three together because again here you have now an ace of cups framed in the three of wands and three of wands is sun in Aries and sun in Aries is action I do I will take action now right three three of loving myself more and in that go deeper release this one and go into the four of swords and become more whole and become more healed so this is healing a big healing happening right first in your reading but also for the collective for a lot of more people right on this 21st of december we have a big healing happening where we are understanding giving and taking is very important i vote with my money if i give you the money i give you actually my time my expertise my research my my everything that i uh, did right this is what i'm doing right now here with this reading right i want to get better i want to understand these cards better so that i can know how to make my own deck right and it takes time and i cannot meet people so i do it on this platform right and then you can see the collaboration working with others and releasing releasing letting go this one thought going down from five into four into the meditation more meditation the more you meditate the better and you will find a true true love right because this is where true love happens the heart is in here with her in the nest so beautiful right okay so i'm uh, looking at the bottom of the card and yes you are awakening on this 21st of december when sagittarius is ending and capricorn is starting it's the longest night it's the darkest night where you are gonna liberate yourself where you are gonna free yourself that's why the meditation right the true love and really active doing something this is for you right you like the wands it is connected to aries nevertheless you are also connected to all of the wands and so the healing begins the healing begins for you and this is the stage before scorpio before the death card so yeah you also have very clearly uh, an awakening on the 21st of december i have to do an individual video just for that date the message is clear it's saying yes the healing has to happen right the collaboration the working together three three right working together moving forward knowing that we can achieve something greater we can achieve a big love there's two hands holding one cup right the two cups here in sagittarius the two cups Okay, so the first row, I don't really need an explanation, right? You, your self-worth, right? Of course, uh, the, the, the two of coins is everything comes and goes. There's dark, there's light, there's up and down. There's always the opposite side, right? Playing out. And of course, with the two, with the two lovers, right? then very clear yeah something needs to shift and again you have then the six of pentacles the giving and taking is happening always the six is connected to this one and then with these two you have again a six in a way right this is how i would like to see it so there is something happening through this gemini either there's a gemini in your world right he's helping you or you yourself become more clear with the self-love. Particularly the Ace of Cups is coming and the Four of Swords where the love 
and the heart is right here in this nest. So I just want to see if there's another clarification card coming out for you, my dear Leo. For this enlightening, I want to see what is the Five of Swords, because that's kind of the only negative card, and there it is. Wow. The Hermit and the High Priestess. This is a couple. This is a couple, right? The Hermit is in its own way a couple. Of course, this is Virgo. And the High Priestess is not connected to anyone. But she is very powerful. She's very intuitive. And very intuitive, you know, you need to go down to come to the Four of Swords, right? You need to do a collaboration. You need to work with others for there to be a success, right? This introverted going inwards, knowing that you have within all the resources, all the love, the love is within you. Intuitive, you understand that for your spiritual growth. And what happened when I picked up this card from the deck, and this is so clear, the message is, yes, we are moving into the age of Aquarius, right? Saturn and uh, Jupiter are moving into the age of Aquarius and are shifting the consciousness. Again, this is a bigger message than just for you, Leo. This is for a lot more people. We are moving into the age of Aquarius, right? And when I grabbed it, I saw underneath, all the way at the end, Scorpio. Crazy, right? It started in Scorpio, transformation before this month already, shifting, changing, and here you have the age of Aquarius, right? You have a very clear message as well that you know here you are worked on yourself right since below is the scorpio card scorpio this was the pre-stage to letting go and you are really truly seeing here a big big shift in this big transition i'm gonna put this down and leave the card of the star card out right because that's very clear i'm gonna put these two here and I'm going to look at the last card at the bottom of the um, deck. Equal give and take. We, the people, have to show that now the time starts equal giving and taking. I give you an apple and you give me a salad. Right? Equivalent, what's the cost of an apple? Maybe we get away from the money, we get away from holding money in banks and we are doing a whole new financial perspective on money, right? We are shifting, we're changing it. You, Leo, are a leader. You, Leo, are an entrepreneur. You, Leo, are creative. And this is just a little bit of trouble, but don't worry. You're handling it really well. You are knowing when you meditate, you understand what to let go what thoughts to let go so that you can come into the age of Aquarius and underneath is the page of pentacles new financial new money new way for the young generation give and take in sync with the earth holding respecting the earth it's very clearly a financial material earthy situation where we work together where we create together where we are happy together, where we're dancing, where we're enjoying ourselves, right? Oh my God, I mean, such a beautiful message for you, Leo. Again, it's, it's, it's very clear saying, yes, on the 21st of December, a big shift is happening, a big shift. And of course, it is the Jupiter and Saturn planets come together as that big star and there is Aquarius in your reading. 
they moved both into Aquarius. They were 20 years in Capricorn, right? Capricorn, Jupiter in Capricorn, right? And it's time. It's time. Six of Pentacles. We have Moon in Taurus, right? Moon in Taurus, very beautiful. You have here the king, right? He does exactly that. He gives and he takes. He gives and he's very, very, very beautiful energy. And of course, you have it here again. That's what's going to happen. Three is Mars in Capricorn. Mars is not moving out of Capricorn, but three is Sun in Aries, right? And four of Swords is Jupiter in Libra. So, there's a big shift happening on the 21st, also for you, my dear, dear Leo. And I'm so excited to see the almost same message coming out for you. Amazing. Well, then I see you again when the sun is in Capricorn, right? That's uh, the next reading. And, of course, the moon again in your sign. Let's see what's happening. Now we are closer to the 21st. It's going to be very, very powerful times that the 21st it's almost like now the age of Aquarius is starting I I mean for me it's very clear bam it's gonna come like this right thank you so much for watching namaste